made it to Harris. This place is absolutely stunning. Um, I've been here probably five minutes and I've seen grey heron. Uh, there was one over there a minute ago. There's one that's just been sat on the, the rock down here for about 10 minutes. He's flown off. He didn't like my umbrella. Um, it kind of scared him off. Um, and this whole tiny lock is full of um, seals. I don't know if you can see them. I'll zoom in on the, the phone in a minute. Um, there's also this uh, quite cool boat over here in the corner. I actually stopped to take a picture of that. I didn't realise there'd be any wildlife in here. And there's a, a bird with an orange beak as well. I've got to work out what it is. It wasn't a puffin, but um, it might be related. I'll see if I can zoom in and uh, see if you can um, see the seals. They're not coming up very close, but um, they're, uh, they're kind of just uh, bobbing around looking at me. So. Yeah, sorry about the quality on the phone, but uh, there's quite a lot of them. I think there's five. Is that six? A whole family of them. I've got quite a few uh, good shots of them anyway, so um, I'll put them up and uh, you can have a look. Right, I've run out of um, room on the memory card and I've actually lost my uh, reader. It's um, an old, um, one of the old cards, I can't remember what they're called, and the big one. Um, so, I say compact flash. I can't find it at the moment, so I've got to um, try and locate it in the van. So I'm going to head off to uh, Rodale Marsh now. It's quite overcast day, there's not really much interest. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, because it's all about shapes, uh, it should make a good, um, good black and white image and it's kind of weather so I'll uh, head off now and I'll see you over there. Cheers. Right I've come to uh, Rodo Marshes. Um, pretty sure uh, they're around here somewhere. I don't actually know. Um, I've not got any internet. I've had not much internet for the whole of Sky really or um, Harris so far. All I've got is uh, Google Maps and like a lot of the maps nowadays, it doesn't work very well unless you're online. So um, I can see on the map this a lake here. And I can also see a bigger lake, which is up this direction. 
um, and there's also a peak just there which is uh, covered in uh, cloud at the moment so looking at the pictures online I see they're shot at that peak so facing it so I'm going to uh, try and make my way up one of these these banks here and um, see what we can find really um, I can't actually find a footpath at the moment so I think it's just a matter of scrambling up there and trying to not get caught so I'll, uh, I'll see you a bit later That's a bit of a fail, uh, totally the wrong place. Um, got two choices, uh, drive around like an idiot trying to find it, or um, go and uh, find some Wi-Fi hotspot to use. Um, so I'm probably gonna go for a bit of both, drive around like an idiot trying to find a hotspot. Um, hopefully I'll come across it on the way, but um, see what I find. It's a big lie. The marshes aren't in Rodeau, they're in Northton, uh, which is about five, ten minutes up the road, so that's why I couldn't find them. You actually drive right past them, so if I just kept on driving, I would have found them anyway. Uh, that's the peak in the background, uh, shrouded in uh, mist and cloud at the moment. There is quite a nice beach around the corner as well, so I don't think we're going to get any colour. I'm going to go for some uh, contrasty pictures here and then maybe go and visit the beach, maybe for sunset. Hopefully it'll clear up then anyway. Right, this place is a compositional nightmare. Um, I've been walking around for about 10 minutes. You have to jump between each of these um, mini islands. Um, the water's not very deep, but it's like quicksand, so you kind of sink about a foot into it each time. So definitely need wellies or waders if uh, you can't make the jump across. I found a composition here. Um, I'm probably going to try portrait first, move on from there. So I'll just set up. It keeps on raining on and off. So uh, and the, the peak in the background has totally disappeared. So uh, it's just going to be a, an all out, um, all out kind of marsh interest scene really. So I'll see what I can get. I'll just set up now and when the rain stops. Well, the cloud is, I think, starting to clear only because it's raining all its contents onto me. Um, luckily, I have a pretty decent umbrella. And the number one key thing, I should really go to an island. So I'm going to hang around here for maybe 10, 15 minutes and hopefully that's going to clear up. It, you can even see the base of that peak a minute ago, so hopefully it will improve quite a bit. So I'm calling that a day now. Um, it's been constantly raining there. Peak has cleared slightly, um, but I don't think it's going to get much better. Uh, I've been taking a time lapse for the last um, last 10 minutes, um, 15 minutes. I might actually just stitch the files to try and get big, one big um, kind of smooth scene. Um, it's going to be a portrait, so it's a bit hard to do a, a time lapse of a portrait. Um, but you never know; it might work. I'll give it a try. Um, probably going to head around to. Um, around the coast up to Luskentide Beach uh, for the night. Uh, hopefully get there in the morning. Hopefully there might be a, a nice sunrise, you never know. And uh, see what we get there. So I'll see you tomorrow. I'm almost at Luskentide Beach. Um, I thought I'd just stop off on the way in this gorgeous uh, beach. It's, it's not far from Luskentide, it's only about probably a mile. Um, look how blue the water is, gold the sand is, and it's, it's 
about half an hour past sunset now, so this place will be absolutely stunning with the, uh, during the sun. We've got a lot of nice uh, rocks here, We've got nice compositions. I'm actually taking pictures of this um, this tiny rock right in the middle at the moment. Just trying to catch the um, the water as it runs back across it. I'm only doing a half a second exposure, but you can see some of them have come out quite nicely. I'm probably going to stay down here for a bit longer, um, just try and get some more compositions. Just got to wait for the right moment, that big wave to come, catch it on the way back out. 